Hello and welcome to Dragon Tutorial number 22. Today we will learn how to use the Query API. First, let's start the Python shell. Then we import the model. With model.objects, we access all the API methods. With all, we get all the data back. You can change your method calls. And this count you get the number of results. Use the filter method to put conditions on your query. And here you can also chain it and get the count. Like this will tell you if there is data or not. You can slice the query set, put the limit or put an offset. The first is the offset and the second is the limit. As you slice it, only in the new general version you can still change your methods. By default, all the table fields are being retrieved from the database. To avoid that, use the values method and specify the fields. Now it's not a class instance, it's a dictionary instance. Please keep that in mind. To order your data, use the order by method and specify the fields. Put a dash at the beginning and it will be sort descending. Result is ascending. To query dates, we first import the date time. Use double underscore to imply the magic method. Use greater than and then use the date time object. or use less than. Let's use the count again to check. And once the order by. And let's slice it. With double score here, we get all the data for this year. This works for month, year, day and so on. To see generate the SQL, use dot .query, you have to print it or cast it to a string. This is just to check things. To search in strings, just use contains. This is case sensitive. You can also have it non case sensitive. With n, you can search for some values. This is now you can check if the field is null. If you want to retrieve just one object, use the get method. If the object doesn't exist, it will throw an exception. Thank you for watching. Any feedback is welcome.